What up, guys? It's Mikey. What's up? It's Mark Weens. You know, a lot, a lot of you guys been been asking on the comments, messaging me since years ago. They're like, oh, you got to do a collab with Mark. Well, finally, it's happening. I am in Bangkok, oh, Thailand, and I'm with Mark, and we are going to go on some crazy food adventures in this city. I know nothing about the food here. I mean, I love Thai food. Cool. And you are like the expert. You are like the Thai food guru. So, <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to rely on you to kind of show me what's good in this city. But right. this video is going to be really special because I love noodles, you love noodles. I love spice, you love spice. I love spicy food. Yeah, we are, I mean, we're like, we're like soulmates right here. But today we are going to go on a noodle tour adventure around Bangkok and you're going to show me some of the best noodle dishes in the city. Yeah, and I, and I can't wait. I don't know if you guys can see back there, but there's like a rich cauldron brew of bones and meat. Tell me about this. What, what are we seeing here? This is a giant pan of eternal braising beef. You just see that how thick that broth is. And that's just like probably just pure like beef fat and oil just bubbling in there. That's what you eat here. I think we're off to a good start. Let's get started, guys. All right, Mark, you, you took me to this place. First of all, what's it called? The place is called Watana Panit. Watana Panit. I'm really bad <laughs> with languages. I'm not even going to try it. All right, and, and, and then we saw the cauldron of meat in the front. And you were telling me it's the eternal brew, basically. Yeah. I mean, that sounds Never little, stops going. That sounds a little witchcrafty. <laughs> eternal brew. But here, obviously, we don't have the eye of nudes. We have, well, maybe we do have eye of nude in there because there's tons of stuff in there. Man, a secret blend of spices and herbs yeah. and beef parts smashing together. This is the most amazing thing I've seen in Bangkok so far. It, cool. it really is. What are we What are we ordering today? Uh, we're just going to get the classic bowl of beef noodles. Uh, it includes a mix. She grabs some of the parts of beef from the, the uh -huh. eternal pot. Yeah. No. Uh, mixes it with noodles and then pours on some soup. Well, let me ask you something, Mark. How come I'm not getting a full bowl of noodles here? What is going on? Where, where is the rest of my noodles? One of the reasons why Thai dishes are so small, actually, yeah. is not because they eat less, but because they eat more of a variety. Uh, um, um, let me get you a spoon. Oh, thank you very much, I'll get man. you a pink one. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. And you can see how, like, thick and rich that is. Oh, that, that, that is fatty. Cheers, Cheers man. man. Oh my god, that is... Whoa! Oh, it's good. That thing, that thing, that broth can afford to fly first class. That's how rich it is. <laughs> it's like, you can actually taste like the fatty collagen oh, thickness no. of that, man. I almost had like to chew that broth. <laughs> I almost had to chew that it's broth. It's thick. Along with the beefy flavor, you can really taste the blend of spices and herbs in there. Oh, uh, there's tons the herbs, of stuff going on The Chinese on in med that. medicinal herbs in there. Do they have hot oil here? Uh, they don't have hot oil. Usually the Thai seasonings is chili yeah. vinegar, uh -huh. chili flakes, and fish sauce. Okay. How do you typically season your noodle? Do you like it sour? I do. Thank you. Can yeah. I hook you up? Oh. Hold it in, absolutely. Probably like, yeah. Usually this is not really spicy, yeah. but it's just fragrant. Yep. Uh, and then the spice comes from the, the ground red chili. Mm. So this is more for sourness. Yep. And then we got the um, we got the heat coming up. Yep. And then we got that the chili flakes. Oh yeah. All right, Mark. How much how much do you um, typically add? You go for it, man. <laughs> no, I'm, a cr I'm I normally crazy. Go, I know you're crazy. I'm like, I just shovel it in. And then a lot of people, a lot of Thai people will add a bit of fish sauce, but normally I don't really need, think it needs it. It's, so. it's, it's pretty flavorful on its yeah, own it's already. I think already, that, that might be a little salty. Don't need. Right, so now comes the mixing part. This is where things get beautiful. Oh, look at that. You can see the color of that broth just goes from that dark brown color to like a maroon almost. I want right? to try this broth again, because the, now, now that it's transformed. Oh! Dude, that, yeah. that just made it magical. That is a that is a flavor of Thailand right there. Because the, the, the broth is so uh, thick and rich, it uh -huh. needed a little acid to, to cut into that, and that, that did the trick. Mmm, mmm, well, that's ridiculous. You know, it has all the elements I like. Flavorful, it's vinegary. I love Chinese vinegar typically on my noodles, uh -huh. but I feel like with uh, with these type of noodles, the rice noodles, clear vinegar works, works a lot better. And definitely, those things just heat it up by like 20,000 yeah. degrees. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Did you try the braised beef? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh the braised beef is so tender. Is this beef too? That's the fresh beef. That's, That's the, fresh the fresh beef, beef. yep. Mm. Oh. Yo, that was that was like butter. Man, that broth. Yeah, you just you just gotta drink it. I'm, I'm not it even being so, chill last year. It's so good. Alright, let's let's move on to our second item here. Okay. What do we what do we got here? All right, we got two different soups here. One of them is a goat soup, uh -huh. and then this one is bull penis. Soup number five. Oh, so that's the mysterious soup. I knew the, the way you said that. Soup number five. 
Here it is, the soup number five. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I'm a little scared, but it, it looks, I see Chinese herbs in there already. Now I'll show you guys what it looked like before it turned into this. Actually, it's <laughs> being chopped up right behind us. All right, man, you wanna get started with the yeah, soup let's, number five? Let's, uh, well, let me let me just stir this up stir a little bit and, and show you guys what's oh, yeah. underneath. It, oh, it actually has formed like a film on yeah, top from all of that, that that's fat. That's fat, <laughs> and this is, oh, oh my God. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know about this, Mark. <laughs> All right. I mean, are we, are we going straight in here, or should we no, should we taste the soup first? Okay, let's taste, well, the, let's soup. taste the soup first. Ease our way in. Ease our way it in. Is, it is very thick. Okay. Okay. Oh. The soup is good. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's good. It's amazing. My soup is good. It's so herbal and so beefy. Yeah, that's mm. very beefy. That's that's the cilantro roots I think in there. Yeah. And you can really taste that herbal, that that rooty flavor. I think we should go in for bigger and better things now. Okay. Cheers, man. Oh, it's actually incredible. Isn't it, man? I, I mean, I don't know if I would use the word incredible. It's, it's different. Oh, I love it, actually. It's like, it's sort soft. of like, it's sort of like, it's really soft, but not 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 too slimy. A little bit slimy. It's a little slimy. A little bit slimy. It's, it's got a little a little aftertaste to it. Was there a little bitterness to it? But could that be coming from the, the pieces or from the broth, from the herbs in there? God, I'm hoping it's from the herbs. I love how it, they're almost like intestines. Yeah. But, but like, even less chewy. Less chewy. They're they're softer. They're like more tender intestines. We gotta have one more big chunk. You gotta do it, man. Oh, look at this one. There's like, oh, there's like God. valves. There's oh some valves God. coming out of it. Oh. Because you know the, you know different different parts. Yeah. Have different textures. Thanks for that. Um, so we might get, no, a, different, we might get a different texture on this bite. This is definitely different part than the last part. Oh, that one was more meaty for me. Oh yeah. Okay, that one was not bad. Mm. If I didn't think about what that was, that one just tasted like a piece of meat. Yeah. So you got all these different a variety of different textures depending on what section yeah. you get. So the second piece was much better. Yep. All right. Should we all try? Right. Should we move into the other yeah. one? Yeah. I see a lot of different parts of the gold here. What is this? A stomach lining? Yep. And pieces of ribs. That's always nice. Oh wow. I think this is skin. Yeah, straight up chunk of that's your fatty skin right yeah. there. Let's do a piece of lean meat here. All right, cool. Oh, oh, oh that's nice. So ridiculously that's tender, and it's not gamey at all. No, that's really nice. All right, should we should we get a piece of skin? Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow, that tastes like pork feet. A little bit. It's very gelatinous. I can taste like goat collagen <laughs> in my mouth right now. I love the gelatinous quality to it, and that thing just had all that. That was really good. What was your favorite dish of the, of the I, I think the noodles was amazing. Off the chart. Uh, especially after the, the vinegar and the, and the hot and the spice. I mean, I was hoping you like vinegar too, because I love vinegar in my noodle soup. Good. That's one of my favorite yeah, things. Just keep finding more and more things that we get along so well together for. Yeah, we need to have a show together. This has been a great first stop. So on to stop number two, whatever you have store for us. Let's go. All right, we're at location number two in Mark. Go ahead, I'm, I'll just let you say the name, because it's not that I can't, but you know, just. You're cool, man. Uh, this one is Patsu Senyai, uh, wide rice noodles, stir fried with soy sauce. This one is Ratna Senyai. It is a gravy noodle dish. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we also got another Patsu, but this one is with Senmi, which are the thin angel hair like noodles. Oh. And you're saying this place specializes in, in the, this in these two, these two these dishes, two yeah. particular noodles. Yep. And you were also telling me that. Uh, Passe you, is that how you say it? Yep. Um, it's not the noodles themselves, it's actually the, the method. It's the method cooked. of stir frying. So, so actually, to technically order this dish, if you want to technically order this dish in Thailand, you have to say pad si yu sen yai, wow. because that's a type of noodle. So if you only say pad si yu, they won't know which noodle yeah. you want. Wow, well, I'm excited to, to get started. Cheers, my friend. All right, cheers, man. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, the smokiness of those noodles. That is really good. You can see how he's cooking. You can just see a cloud of smoke that's yeah. rising from the wok as he's cooking it. So you know it's gonna have that deep smoky flavor. That is something you never have in the US. Never, yeah. that, that's an you element. You get that, that level of flavor. That's insane. It is on the sweet side, but um, that's actually what you, you can contrast it with vinegar and, yeah. and chilies to contrast that sweetness. But the flavor is absolutely sensational. It's like a martial arts, right? Like, you meet a Shaolin master. You think you've been doing like Taekwondo all your life. You meet a Shaolin master who's been practicing for 200 years. Mm -hmm. And you think you know what you're doing. That's why I feel like eating this. Because I've been eating, <laughs> obviously I've been eating like Thai noodles and Thai restaurants in the US. Yeah. So I think I have an idea of what Thai noodles taste like. But then you eat this here, you're just like, 
I know. Yeah. Blue. The most skill about that, this is that it's, it's cooked on such a high fire, but it's not clumpy and it's not burnt. Yeah. But all that smoke is just retained within, it's absorbed into those noodles and that egg. You're absolutely, absolutely right. It's charred but not burnt. Another version of Patsyu. Yeah, let's do it. Just with different noodles and with an extra omelet on top. There we go. All right. Oh. Can I say it? That was all about the egg. I mean, the noodles are great, but that egg was the star. I mean, the egg was Beyonce, and everything else was just backup dancing. That's the best egg I had, at least on this trip, for sure. Third bowl of noodles. This one is the ratna, which is the gravy sauce with noodles. So this yeah. is a, this is like a different composition of a of a noodle dish here. Just admire the stickiness wow. of that sauce. <laughs> That's I, really I have sticky. a bad. Yep. Yeah. I do feel like this needs some acid. Yeah. You no know vinegar. I mean? like, Vinegar and chilies Shit. has to be done. Oh, so much. I love it with the vinegar though. It really like changes the dimension with that vinegar. 100%. This is like almost a completely different dish. Let's bring out the, the, Do the, the thin one here. Yeah. Oh, good. One thing I'll say about Thai food so far that I kind of I kind of realized, I mean, this might not be true, this is kind of my, my impression of it, is that they look very simple. Like, the dishes look very simple. And it looks like you kind of can project the flavor, but that's not true. I mean, that's what these, these dishes are doing. I'm like, okay, they're, they look good. It's just an egg. Just the egg, Mark. I mean, I know you love the egg, but it's just an egg, but oh my God, the egg. So, All right, the last one. one. Oh, yeah. Weather Beautiful. forecast predicts a slight chance of pepper. That's what I love. The smoke explodes in your mouth. Any other food I eat, don't let that make you jealous because you you are always have a place in my heart. This you is good. beautiful. Hi, right, Mark. What's your favorite? You gotta give it up for this one. The yeah. you with the, the thin noodles. I don't know, man. I, I, these two. You know what I need though? I need, I need the omelet here, oh. and then, then I think I think I just kind of combine them. I, I feel like then they kind of morph together into into a perfect yeah. dish for me. Man, again, don't judge a book by its cover. I, I thought I knew Thai noodles, and just looking at this today, I didn't think. I was like, eh, whatever. <laughs> So good, so good. All right, awesome. on to location number three. Guys, we're at location number three, and we're not on a bolt, but we are eating bolt noodles, and they're made with uh, pig's blood. Yep, so you can even see them as yeah. they make it. Uh, they have a bucket of raw blood. And it's they, literally and blood. They, and what they do is they scoop some of it out into yeah. the spoon, and then they stick it into the hot boiling broth. So that immediately cooks, cooks it, it and curdles yeah. it. So it is cooked. Yeah. It is cooked, but then that curdles it, and that's what gives the the, the broth its thickness, its richness. Yeah. And that just just uh, just multiplies the flavor. And so then after that, they pour it into the, the soup, and that's the the basis of what this boat noodle is all about. Again, we got a smaller bowl, but then they managed to shrink the portion of the noodles even more to where I'm getting half a bowl of noodles in my bowl small. Yep. And so the the reason for that is because traditionally these these noodles were served from a boat where yeah. you're rocking in the water. And so in order to to not lose any not soup as you're, as you're rocking in the boat, yeah. they would only half fill the bowls. And so that's a tradition that's just stuck. Yeah. And it's just now kind of fun to eat a lot of bowls and stack them on top of each other. Well, I, I'm really excited to get started because this does look like a one biter. So I, I, I can see why you order like eight bowls of it noodles does. for us. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Oh god. I, I'll admit, this kind of scares me because I had this in New York where the, the soup, it was more soup than like okay. saucy noodles. This to me is more like saucy noodles. Yep. And they're eating the soup and it, it, it has a little bit of the metallic taste, bloody taste to it. Okay. I wasn't really a fan of that. But this, I, I can't really tell there's blood in here. Yep, it doesn't have a gamey taste to it. No, really. no, no, not at all. And I got, a, I got a big piece of liver in that bite. And if you can see the liver, yeah. the liver is half raw as well. I see that. Yep. And it's awesome. And there's already spice in here, but I, I do feel like this with, with a bit more vinegar. Oh yeah, but then another thing that complements, that I feel complements the yeah. boat noodle so well is sweet basil. Yeah. You can either just chase it or yeah. you can toss some leaves in there. All right. And that goes so well together with the, the, the broth. Oh, you know what? This is the first time I've seen like chili. Yeah. This is like hot oil almost. Yep. These are, so this, these are deep fried, they're dried chilies, which mm -hmm. are then deep fried and then they crush them. Yeah, that's like my, when I cook my hot oil, mm -hmm. you fry it really quick, flash fry it, it brings out all that great aroma. You're right about that basil. Mm -hmm. I also really like it with that chili. That's good chili. It's fragrant. You can taste those. It's like a burnt roasted chili flavor. All right, next bowl. Mm. 
But I think what's really cool is that the racial noodles to the broth, there's a lot of broth, a lot of seasoning. Look how seasoned these noodles are. Yeah. So you're not getting a bite where you're like, okay, those noodles are kind of bland. Look at, not the, look, at the, look at the amount of flavor that gets like yeah. stuck within those noodles. Exactly. Whoa, is this pork rind? Yes, sir. This is what at you, you crunch it up inside really? your bow noodles and that gives it the extra crunchy dimension. All right, I'm gonna try one of these as, as this one now. Oh. oh. <laughs> you can just take a piece of the pork rind uh -huh. and then just stick it on your noodles. Uh -huh. Just I need a, I need crush it up this. and that is what takes your bow noodles to the final level of excellence. This is Thai eating at its best. Yeah. Oh, that's like awesome. a deep fried bun. That was a great call on that. Poll number four. Mark, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's a great feeling to be sitting here sweating because you're eating spice. You're sitting in like 100 degree heat <laughs> and just chomping on these noodles. And just hanging out with someone who, yeah. who loves to eat and loves spicy as much as I do. Have you guys never done this before where you're just like, I'm gonna go out today and eat a bunch of noodles or a bunch of whatever food you wanna name? If you guys never thought that was fun to do, do it. Food it's day is the best one of the most the fun day. things you can do. That's just as good as the first bowl. All right. All right. Whew. That was fantastic. That changed my whole perspective on bowl noodles, actually. Cool. So, I mean, this is this is my new standard of bowl noodles. I will tell you that this is a very good bowl of bowl yeah. noodles for Bangkok as well. Yeah. This is where we're getting egg noodles. Magical egg noodles, handmade egg noodles. Hey guys, we're at our next location, and this is this is something familiar. This is, these are egg noodles. That reminds me of uh, Cantonese. Yep. This is even even actually the the name of the restaurant. Yeah. It has uh, Guangdong within the name. Yeah. And this so. but this is a very popular Thai, very popular Thai Thai street food dish especially. And I can tell you right now what the difference is. So so in Hong Kong, when I usually have this, it's usually inside a bowl of wonton noodle soup. So here it does have the wonton element and, and the noodle element, but that's where the similarity ends because then I see roast pork here uh -huh. and some fish cake and then crackling pork skin. It's very Chinese, but at the same time it has high yes. influence. And, and um, rarely do you see this. Yeah, so actually you can uh, either order it um, hang uh -huh. or with the soup inside and hang is the dry version. Yeah. Which I really like the dry version because you can kind of mix and match as you like and your noodles don't get soggy. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I mean usually you don't get a rib. Uh, Look at that rib chunk of bone. meat, man. Yeah, soup. Let's just taste those noodles while they're like hot and fresh right now. Oh. oh, I love it. Beautiful, crispy pork skin with mm. mine. And that provided such a contrast and texture. Oh. The noodles are so light and fluffy because yeah. they're so, so thin. It's like when you chew in them, it's like, it's like there's, a, there's a mini tripling in my mouth. Oh. Your teeth just kind of bounce off each other. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know about you, but whenever I see uh, meat on a bone, my, my Chinese instinct is just telling me to gnaw on it. Oh. Oh. You don't get a release of flavor in the first bite, but as you chew it, you're like, wow, the That's depth been... of the flavor, it's, it's in, in, inside. That's been boiled for a very long time, you yeah. know that. I feel like I'm, I need to upgrade this thing. And it's gonna definitely be upgraded. Again, again, the noodles are so good on their own, mm -hmm. but they would definitely be better with some chili. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. And vinegar. Okay. You want, you want yes, thank you. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this in my broth as well. Oh yeah. What I like to do also yeah. is just go in with like one scoop of, of soup. Yep. It just kind of rehydrates some of the noodles yep. a little bit. I'm gonna oh, do man. a little Olympics action here. I'm gonna I'm gonna have my noodles take a dive. Right there, that's a 10-pointer. Oh, how's that move, man? Oh. That deserves a gold medal. <laughs> oh, just look at that. Yeah. The beauty of these noodles. That what is I beautiful. what I love is that these noodles, they just remain individual. They all have their own personality, every noodle. And it's cascading look spice at that. right there. Don't underestimate the power of this little fried wonton here. That crunch, it gives it more depth flavor. I'm gonna take a gulp of this. Mmm. Whoa. This soup has become significantly better after the vinegar and spice. Like, significantly better. First bite, I was like, right, the soup is very light. I told you, right, it wasn't plain. that flavorful. Yeah, okay. This is ridiculous now. This is solid good bowl of noodles. It's like, it's beautiful. You know what, Mark, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. it's, gonna, it's gonna go in. That way we've got the best of both yeah. worlds, you know? I think it needs each other. Well, 
This is a bowl of noodles I never want to end. This is amazing. All right, guys, last location of the day, and we're eating Pad Thai. And we just picked this one just really random hole in the wall place. I've never eaten here. This is just a random spot that we just came across. Let's talk about the pad thai for a second. First of all, that. That's a banana blossom, banana flower. Actually, this is the this is it will this will turn into banana if, oh, if it sprouts and if it really if it that turns, turns up, into a banana. Turn. That's a pre-born baby banana. It is. Yep. And it's very, very typical to be served with pad thai. And this is not a typical pad thai. This is like a pad thai omelet. It's a very common every every Pad Thai place that you go in Thailand. Has this? You'll you'll be able to order this. As okay. Well. I'm gonna cut this in half just so we can kind of see the uh, cross section anatomy of this of this Pad Thai omelet thingy. There's tofu in there. There's also there's dried Ooh, dry shrimp, shrimp as well as big shrimp. Mm, Fresh shrimp. Lime in there. Oh, yeah. And then uh, peanuts. Peanuts. And how are we supposed to eat this flour thing? Uh, so that you can you can garnish as well, but you not not really sprinkle on top, but you you take a bite of pad thai and then you can eat a bite of that. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm game. Let's let's try this this All right, one. Let's try this one. To somebody who just had pad thai in Thailand for the first time, mm -hmm. that's really good. Oh, to me that's really good. I don't know. What do you think? It's okay. <laughs> but like I said. I'm not huge on the dish, yeah. pad thai. I know you don't love this dish, but as a dish itself, compared to the other ones you've had in this country, is it just okay, right? Still? I think I think it's okay, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna take a bite of this banana leaf thing. Oh yeah. Apparently. That's good. It's chalky. Why is it doing weird things to my tongue? A little bit of a bitterness. Yeah, it's weirding up my tongue right now. I love it. You know what it tastes like? It's just oh, like yeah. I'm biting into banana peel. Those are chalky. I find this pad thai like not too dissimilar to what I had in the US. It doesn't taste too different. It's a pretty average plate of pad thai for Thailand. I can see that. Alright, well, we, we had a we had a bunch of noodles today. What was your favorite today? Um, I don't even remember what we ate. <laughs> I like the beef noodle broth yes. and the beef noodle chunks. Yes. But I like the, the egg noodles. I think for me, I, I love the first place we went to. I loved uh, not the gooeyness, but the other two. I feel like that that was the highlight of my of my noodle experience today. I think that the chefs were able to take some of the common ingredients and make something that doesn't look like it's gonna blow you away, but it, it's really, really transformed what you what you think of noodles after that. But I, I do feel like I, I was able to, after today, get a better grasp of the noodle scene in Bangkok. There's still so many other noodle dishes. There's at least 20, 30 noodle dishes yeah, that you 20. can try, man. So many different ones. Definitely a great time trying all the noodle dishes with you today. Thanks so much yeah. for, for taking me around. Fun. That was and, so much fun. And if you guys want to, awesome. you know, check out Mark's channel, definitely. Check it out, I have a link for you in the description box below. He does a lot of great travel and food stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. So until we eat again, I'll see you later.